Hi, my name is Sharon Draper, and I am the author of six wonderful books about uh, some young men who uh, go outside and play and find adventures. The main character's name is Ziggy, and he's fun and he's cool, and we'll talk about him more in a little bit. I think in order to be a writer, you have to be an explorer. You have to uh, be aware of stories that exist right in your own backyard. I wrote the Ziggy books because I had two sons who were extremely adventurous and they were always digging for treasure and looking for buried treasure and running away and solving mysteries and making up mysteries. And so the books were basically based on my two little boys. Every child that I've ever met is probably an inspiration because children are so inventive and so creative. But my students have always been my inspirations for my writings. Because I was a teacher for so many years, um, I had interactions with hundreds, thousands of young people, and each of them have a story. So no, I'm not telling their stories, but it's the combination of stories that exist among children that I focus on. Sometimes I let the characters decide what the adventure will be. Um, I'll describe the scene, I'll describe the weather, I'll describe their boredom, their little boys. They want to do something. So let's dig for treasure. Let's ride our bikes around the corner. So I let the characters do the uh, exploring and I just give them stories to follow. It's fun. I let the little boys decide what they're doing. Because I'm a teacher and I think that every time you read a book, you should learn something in not know that you're learning something. So um, as the boys in the story discover, wow, this tunnel was once used by the Underground Railroad. One of the kids has to ask, well, what's the Underground Railroad? So through the characters in the story, the children understand because I give the characters in the story all of the emotions and all of the questions that a child who's reading the story would ask. I think it's very important that children see strong childhood relationships in fiction um, because of the internet, because everybody has a tablet or a computer or a phone, they don't communicate the way they used to. I think it's real, real important that they have the opportunity through books to see deeper and more expanding layers of what a story can produce. The Clubhouse Mystery Stories take uh, little boys who don't have a voice, and it gives them a voice, and it gives them stories, it gives them adventures. Uh, they dig for treasure. They perform on stage. They do a good deed for somebody. They go to space camp. They get lost in a tunnel. They dig for treasure. They explore in the woods. They learn things that kids today don't often get a chance to do, is to go outside and actually tactily explore the earth. I hope that by reading the Clubhouse Mysteries, young people will realize that they can explore, they can dig, they can travel, they can find things right in their own neighborhoods. There are libraries in their own neighborhoods that they can go to. There are adults that can answer questions and there are things that they can do on their own at their own age. They can learn from what Ziggy and his friends learn. I always take wonderful pride in being able to talk about books and reading and children. Read with your children, explore with your children, let them know that the world is theirs and they can find it through books. Sit down with them and share a story. It's really, really important.